if you want to buy really cheap controller accessories, for example, uh, controller grips or controller cases, check out fatalgrips.com and use the code Sander for a freaking 10% discount. That is freaking awesome. What do you think about that, Sandre? I think that sounds amazing. I'll finally be able to get a grip on my life. What is up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we got a brand new video on how to price fix the best way on FIFA 16. If you guys could leave a like in the video for more price fixing videos, make sure you guys of course you know smash 200 likes in one hour and that's gonna be done very very soon. Anyway, let's have a look at this method because it's awesome and also thank you so much for smashing over 5,000 subscribers on our football channel, Skill and Shoot. It's been going insane and you guys smashed way over 5,000 subscribers. So yeah, 5k special coming up soon on that channel as well. And you guys have also, you know, been absolutely like, you know, loving the, uh, the new sponsors. So thank you so much for doing that. If you guys like, for example, order anything from that, uh, from that site, just go and send me a tweet. I'll drop you a follow. As so many of you guys have sent me tweets uh, that you've ordered with my discount code. So really, do really appreciate that. Seems like you know a lot more YouTubers as well are getting this sponsor like today. So uh, yeah, it's been awesome. And thank you so much for the support with my new sponsor. Anyway, uh, what are you guys gonna go and do? Do the bronze cards, guys. Bronze cards, for example, English bronze cards are the ones that are worth a lot. They are the best to price fix. For example, you not not too many people do we need to use bronze cards so we don't really have to ruin the market for them too much and they don't really you know I would not recommend um, for example um, price fixing me too many uh, different silver cards that are popular because you know we're obviously going to be ruining the market for people so bronze cards are good and of course the good thing as well there's not too many of them on the market which is the perfect thing you guys want to have a look at so first of all guys you know just find yourself a card and make sure that they do not have too many cards in the market and uh, yeah we're just going to be going through the videos right now for example this guy seems like to be an all right card if you guys find a decent card just go to compare price and see how many cards they have on the market if they have for example I, I would say more than five pages I'd not recommend going for them but if they have for example three pages or under that I definitely recommend going for them because you know they're gonna be a good player to go ahead and price six on this game so well, yeah, let's keep on going right now actually what we can do as well we can go to minimum price over 1,000 coins as well so you guys are you know um, gonna be seeing players that are worth a bit more so let's keep it going like this and uh, when we see a decent card for example you know in a decent league or something you can of course go and search up the leagues here maybe go to like you know the league of BBVA, go to the BPL, go to these awesome leagues and see if you guys can find anything. Anyway, after you guys have done that, go ahead and go to uh, pretty much compare price. For example, these cards, for example, you know, 93 pace Chelsea card. These cards, they do need to sell, guys. They are absolutely sell easily. So, you know, these cards are awesome. And of course, if they have the right amount of pinch as well, I'd recommend going for them. And of course, you know, always you can try to get your friend to go ahead and price six with you. If you do not have too many coins, if you do not have enough coins to price six on your own, of course, go and grab a friend and price six with him. But of course as well, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to the video down below guys, just click read more in the description and I'll put a video on how to price fix on FIFA 16 because I made a whole video on like you know how to price fix on FIFA. Uh, it's you know going through the few steps on how to uh, you know price fix on FIFA 16 so make sure you guys go and check, uh, take a look at that because that's pretty much uh, explains like when you guys need to pick up the players sell on the players and stuff but I guess I could also go through this in this video you need to go ahead and you know uh, pick up literally all the players in the market uh, of course you know don't pick up the ones that are overpriced very much but of course pick up the ones for example every everything for like under 3,000 coins and then sell on the ones that you picked up for maybe like you know a thousand coins or 3,000 coins and when they've sold on list up another one you cannot go ahead and list up everyone at the same time so I'll just you know leave a link to that video down below but anyway uh, first of all you know the, the the first step I guess is to go and find yourself a few players so right now uh, as you guys can see this guy actually doesn't need to have quite a few cards on the market not too sure why this guy has a 9.9k bid right there but that is uh, that is alright let's keep on scrolling right now trying to see if we can find any more cards we have this card there as well he seems like a decent card you know sometimes there's gonna be cards that seems really good to go and price because this guy seems like a good card guys let's go and search up Boga after you guys have found a card of course go and search them up in the markets and uh, yeah of course go go to the big leagues because uh, chances are that they're obviously going to be selling uh, much easier so this guy as you guys can see has some decent prices now I'll show you guys in this video right now as well how to you know price things once again so then maybe go to like you know 3,000 coins and pick up everything below that so let's have a look and see right now so as you guys can see from the 3k there's most of this guy on the market but as you can see there's most uh, there's like you know a lot of these for like literally 1.8k and 6 and a coins and 1.2k there's not like anyone for like 2,000 coins or 3,000 coins so this is exactly what do you really want to go ahead and do and uh, right now I think I just messed up as well with this okay okay I, I, luckily I did not mess up but you guys get my point after you guys have gone ahead and pretty much picked up all of these for under 3,000 coins for example all these right now the next on the market is gonna be uh, yeah the next cheapest on the market then is pretty much gonna be 3,000 uh, let's have a look here the next cheapest on the market is actually gonna be even more than that so let's have a look at the market right now and see the next price so the next cheapest guys on the market after you guys have picked up
up in one below 3k it's gonna be 2500 coins which means you guys can make some awesome profit on these cards sell them one by one and make some great profit if you guys want me to do like you know videos on the best players for price picks leave a comment down below uh, and i'll definitely be doing that in my next video or you know either tonight or tomorrow just leave me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do that and when should i upload a video about you know which players are the best for price picks that's gonna be the end of this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed and you know bronze players are great guys they work the best for price picks literally and if you guys find a good one of course with like a lot of pace good stats that you know do need really sell on then of course you go you're gonna be able to make some awesome profit on those cards anyway thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys later on tonight with either one or two more videos peace out guys